Okay, first I'm gonna choose here the disk drive. Okay, done. Okay, now what you have to do is to copy this folder into the root of your uh, of your device. So you don't copy these files, you, you copy the whole folder that's actually called the Android. Okay, so just press copy, and then we're gonna go to the, the removable disk, which is the SD card of my uh, device. And, okay, let me see. I'm just gonna place it here, in the, in the, in the root. This is actually meant by the root of your uh, SD card. Just directly into the root, here we go. So, okay. So once this actually, when this is actually done, yeah, you will. Okay, I'll show you what what, what we are going to do. We're gonna go to the. Uh, you're just gonna press first of all on this file, which is called uh, CL, uh, CLR CAD. You're just gonna press it, and and you will you won't feel any change, but you have to press it before you press the the booter, which is the Herod. Okay, some ROMs like the one I've just installed comes with a utility from inside installed inside that allows you to just to run the Android. So if you don't have it, if you install any other ROM, you will simply just press in, into the CL, CLR CAD, and then you press on the Herod. I'm gonna show it to you once uh, once it's done. Okay. So here we, here we go. Now now it's actually finished. Okay, you will uh, press X. Okay, just go to the device here. Good. Okay, now you have to disconnect uh, my uh, device. Wait a second. Okay, we'll just go to the file explorer. Okay, I'm gonna go to um, storage card. Choose the Android folder, and be careful. Uh, this folder is called the Android. Once you boot, you have to, to you only have to, uh, to have one folder with the Android name. Okay, see, I'm gonna now press over the CLR CAD. Okay, here it is. I've pressed over it. Nothing actually happened. It's okay. I'm gonna press now on the Herod. Now it's gonna say it's booting. Uh, it usually take if it, it usually it takes like ten minutes to boot the uh, the image. Uh, unless you have something called the data image, sometimes some ROMs comes with the data image. It allows you to put like within one minute. Uh, the, the JMSD, this uh, this one, the uh, custom Android ROM is actually pretty fast. It comes with the RTL support, and uh, it's good. Okay, uh, but still I prefer the Chinese ROM. It's called the MIUI ROMs. So we'll just here run. Okay, okay, here we go. All right. So as we see here now, it's uh, the Android has just booted. I put it exactly in six minutes. In my case, it might differ from each one, but as we see here, this is the first screen. All right. We just press. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, here we'll just skip the first stuff. Okay. Just skip. Okay. Now wait a second. Thanks. It actually asked me about connecting to Wi-Fi to adjust state and all these stuff. Just press next. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so as you see here, now we've got the Android running. Okay, so simple, so smooth. Here we go. It's really running fast. That's really very good. Let's just try to connect to the Wi-Fi to check the internet. Okay, <clears throat> we've got the setting. All right. Okay, the wireless connections, Wi-Fi, let's turn it on. Okay, now Wi-Fi setting. Wait a second. There we go. And just check available uh, networks. Actually, I turned off. Wait a second. Okay, let's just close it. Let's just open it again. Mm, 
I guess we need to just make a restart here. Okay. So as you see, the Android is running really pretty fast. If you got any error messages or anything, it's just perfect because you need to make a restart. It's just the first time to run, and everything is going to be alright. Okay. okay. There are actually two two uh, two options for rebooting. You can install a program called Hot Reboot and boots your mobile directly uh, from the Android into the Android. So you don't have to go back to the Windows. Well, if you just press reboot here, you'll just uh, boot back to the uh, to the to the Windows. Okay. Okay, guys. So we now boot it again into Windows. And as as I told you, there are installed programs here to boot directly instead of pressing the two files that I mentioned earlier. So here it is. It actually asks me whether to boot into. Uh, we already in Windows, so I guess we'll put into just into the Android. Okay, here we go. So there are many builds for the Android uh, based on the devices they came from. For example, got I uh, uh, the Nexus One builds, and they are they're very 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 fast and stable. I prefer them over any other builds. There are builds that comes from the Desire, from the Desire HD, from the uh, from the Evo Four G. Here, I believe this one is actually the ultimate comes from uh, it's a mix between the Nexus and the uh, the Bravo uh, devices. So uh, it's it's and I, and I I actually chose this one because it has an RTL support and it's really very fast. So this is the second boot for the Android. It usually takes about one minute for the second one and. And for the first boot, because it's still installing drivers and all these stuff, it takes around 10 minutes maximum. 15 maximum if uh, if anything happens. But it usually takes from 6 to 10 minutes for the first boot. Uh, and as I told you, there's a data.img file. If you simply placed it into your Android folder before the first boot, it's just going to boot into 1 minute or 2 minutes maximum. So, uh, and, and simply you can uh, download file called okay here it, here it is now it has booted uh, okay I'm gonna unlock actually no sim card because I I didn't install add a sim card yet for this device so is it, it's really it's here to say it's preparing the SD card mm, okay it should take like seconds Just, okay now we're we're done uh, here it is okay, uh, the Wi-Fi is already on because I Install it, we're connected. I guess now we're gonna check the internet. Okay, let's just do it. <coughs> okay, just a second. Okay, here it is. This is actually the error because RTL is running fine. Let's just check any site, for example, on Octo. Let's just see. Okay, bbc.com. Wait a second, bbc.com. Here we go. So I just see it. Here it is. It's really running smooth and fast. Everything is alright. Okay. Uh, here it is the menu. Okay, just a second. And actually, and a live wallpaper is, is running here. Here it is. Okay. And here you can turn on off some toggle icons like the GPS, the wireless, the Bluetooth, the sound. All these stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here is simply to configure your uh, your device. Okay. So uh, so that's it, Phyllis. And <coughs> and my advice is if you if you are into these ROMs, you simply can stick to it. Or if you like the MIUI ROMs, the Chinese one, it's really very very fast and it's really amazing. You can. Uh, can just download it and install it and the site that is uh, actually concerned with all this stuff is the uh, xda-developers.com it's really an amazing site okay that's it thank you for watching